What's up, guys? Pasha Peter, and um, we are here currently mapping out our measurements for the window, which I'm going to place an order on at some time this week, uh, probably over the next couple of days or so. And it's gonna take a whole eight weeks, eight weeks for that window to come in. But I'm gonna make a video on that because that's one of the mistakes I ran into, so look out for that. But I wanted to take you guys on this journey and show you what I'm running into with this window, just so you guys are prepared for these types of things. Because I want you to know that all trailers are different. The one that I followed used a different trailer than the one I bought. He be, I believe he used a uh, Cargo Mate trailer. And I'm using, I believe, a Bravo trailer. And there's some key differences that you might run into in the trailer's design that might affect the way you guys set up your trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. So my window that I'm gonna measure out, which my first measurement is 79 and a quarter inches from this stud, from the end of this stud, all the way to this stud. And you can see I'm measuring it to this not this because the inside of my window that comes through needs to be able to clear this stud so i'm measuring it to the end of this stud and that my first measurement has came through at 79 and a quarter i'm going to do a few more measurements of the window but the issue i ran into is that these studs are differently built you see that they are angled studs they they start and then they turn in and then they turn out like this, where it's Frank's studs were angled on both sides. So there was a split off end on this side and a split off end on this side. My trailer doesn't have that. So I've kind of had to come up with a different way of getting these measurements because now I have to be able to, clearing this isn't a problem, but if we come down here to this end, as you can see, the part I need to clear is this, which is attached to this interior baseboard. Whereas the one I need to clear on the opposite side, this one is not. It's attached to the to the exterior metal, which is which is great because now the screw for the outside can come through where the window will attach to. But over here, I can't measure to this because if I need to attach the window here, the screw's gonna come through into my wall. So I've had to do a little finagling and what I'm gonna do is attach my window here to this. And then in order to get the window inside, it needs to clear about an inch and a quarter past this. But this is an inch and a quarter. So this, my window might not clear this piece. So ultimately what I've decided is more than likely I'm gonna cut down half of this, this um, stud here, cut it in half and hopefully my window will slide through or cut down this whole part of the stud so that the window can fit through if I need to. But that's just one issue that I've ran into thus far with building out this trailer. It's a little bit different than the, the model I'm following, but I bought it, so I gotta find a way to make it work. So I'm gonna take a couple more measurements, get this thing right at 79 and a quarter, if that's the correct measurement I wanna go with, and hopefully in a couple of days you'll be seeing another video from me, and in eight weeks you guys will be seeing a window get installed. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.